Converting between mixed numbers in proper fractions. Now, although this is topic 4.5 or F5, um, on the homework questions there's some slightly different versions of this, so I will go through those as well at the end. But uh, what you're actually supposed to be trying to do is to convert between a mixed number, which is a whole number in a fraction, and an improper fraction, which is one where the top is bigger than the bottom. Sometimes that's called a top heavy fraction. Now, if we look at 1 and 2 thirds, 1 and 2 thirds, well, this this box, we consider this box to be 1 and if we colour in 2 thirds of this box, so there's 1 third and 2 thirds, well in the 1 we have 3 thirds that's what uh, happens when you split a block up into thirds so we've got 3 thirds there, plus these 2 that makes 5 thirds OK, another example of that, well, if I've got 2 and 1 fifth, I've got this whole block covered in, that's 1, and then another one which is 2, and then one of these fifths coloured in, then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fifths, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fifths, and one extra one will make 11 fifths. OK, and that's all very well and good, you can use these blocks to help you to do these if you find it difficult, but there is a quicker way. I'll just go back to this first one. If I take this 1 and realise that that 1 has 3 things in it because one, um, because they're thirds and I, fig I can work out how many that's going to be by doing 1 times 3 to get those 3 plus the 2 on the top makes 5. So 5 thirds comes from that. So if I do 2 times 5, because I've got 2 lots of 5 plus the 1 on the top makes 11. If I do 1 times 4, I'll have one lot of four quarters plus the three on the top makes seven quarters. Um, if I've got three and a half, each of those three is split up into two, so I've got three lots of two, which is six, plus one is seven halves. Um, four and three fifths, each of those four holes is broken up into five equal pieces, so that's four lots of five is twenty, plus the three is twenty-three pieces, and they're all fifths. And the last one, um, 5 lots of 9 is 45, plus the 2, 47 ninths. So if I drew out uh, blocks broken up into 9 equal pieces, I need 5 of them for the 5 holes, so 5 lots of 9 which is 45, plus the 2 is 47. Going the other way, if you've got the improper fraction and you're trying to make a mixed number, if you think about uh, 7 thirds, what is that? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven thirds and that's one, two holes and a third. So that's two and one third. Similarly if I drew out eleven quarters I would have to work out how many quarters make a whole block which is four. So how many fours are there in eleven? Well there's two fours in eleven, two fours are eight with three left over. So that's two and three quarters. 24 divided by 5 is 20, uh, 5 times 4 is 20, so that's 5 whole numbers and 4 left over, which are fifths. If I divide 19 up into 8, so I've got 8 and another 8 is 16, so that's 2 8s of 16 and 3 8s left over. And we've got 2 lots of 11s, 22 and 3 left over. And we've got 4 lots of 10 is 40 and 9 left over. OK, just to finish this off, on the homeworks you're given questions like a uh, quarter plus 3 eighths. Now this isn't really much to do with this. This is about equivalent fractions and we need to be able to change these fractions so that they have the same denominator before you can add them. OK, so if I'm looking at a quarter I can write that as lots of different ways like 2 eighths or 3 twelfths or 4 over 16 or 5 over 20 and they're all the same, they're all one quarter. Now I want to add it to 3 eighths so I need to use the 2 eighths version of a quarter. So 1 quarter is 2 eighths and I'm adding 3 eighths, that gives me 5 eighths. OK, another example might be 2 thirds plus 1 sixth OK, this time I want to change them into, into six. It's usually the number with the smallest here. Oh, sorry, the biggest number on the bottom. 
if I'm looking at two thirds, the equivalent fractions are two thirds. If I double the bottom, I get six. Double the top, I get four. If I triple the bottom, I get nine. Triple the top, I get six. Times the bottom by four, I get twelve. And times the top by four, I get eight. They're all equivalent fractions of two thirds. But I want the one that's got sixths in it. So two thirds is four sixths, and one sixth makes five sixths. Okay, that should help with the homeworks that are in this section.